friends, uh, yesterday I completed a marathon. Uh, a marathon that began at St. Athanasius Parish at this church on September 11th with my friends John and Aureen as uh, I had the great joy of celebrating their wedding. And the marathon concluded yesterday at St. Pius the fifth in Lynn, Massachusetts, where I had the joy of celebrating the marriage of Kristen and Chris. Uh, in the meantime, I've been marrying in New Jersey and Virginia. I had a Catholic Hindu wedding. I had a Catholic Lutheran wedding. And I'm available as a wedding planner. <laughs> <laughs> It's been very, very joyful. And one of those weddings was my nephew, the first uh, grandchild in the family to be married, Kevin. Uh, very, very, of course, very proud of him. You know, as an uncle and as a celibate male, uh, celibate person, uh, my nieces and nephews are the closest thing I'll ever have to children. So I had a parent's pride at Kevin's wedding. He has a, a, a beautiful wife inside and out named Rachel. Uh, and I brought my 95-year-old father on uh, JetBlue uh, to Washington, D.C. Uh, for the wedding. And people said, how did he do? I said, he wore me out. Uh, so my father had a, a great uh, weekend. Uh, my sister, for her son, prepared this beautiful guest book. Uh, very uh, elaborate pictures. And uh, people were asked to sign their name. But also there was an advice page. And on the advice page, this is what my sister wrote to my nephew. So this is what a mother wrote to her son on his wedding day. And that piece of advice for Kevin and Rachel was, if it doesn't matter five years from now, it doesn't matter today. Don't put your time and energy and anxiety in things that don't last. If it doesn't matter five years from now, it doesn't matter today. I tell myself that all the time. The other day, I missed a five e-bucks out of CVS. It expired. I forgot I had it in my wallet. I'm like, oh no, I didn't use my five bucks. If it doesn't matter five years from now, it doesn't matter today. Although. I'll gladly accept the $5 bill on your way out, just to make you feel better. Uh, I'll donate it to um, uh, St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, today, in the Feast of Christ the King, we are offered the gift of perspective. Personal perspective and universal perspective. Uh, the couple that I married yesterday, uh, Chris and Kristen, uh, they are an amazing couple. Uh, they have connections, not connections, they have friendships in uh, Reading because we had a memorial mass for Chris's father who uh, perished while uh, mountain climbing in New Hampshire. Uh, so it was a bittersweet day. Uh, his memorial mass was right here a uh, month after his um, funeral mass. Uh, an amazing family of faith, hope, and love. And what Chris and Kristen said about their married life was, there's nothing that's going to happen to us that we can't handle because of our love for other and our trust in God. That's perspective. That's personal perspective. And we're offered universal perspective. Uh, this feast was uh, imagined and created by Pope Pius in the 1920s. And he saw that atheism and secularization was spreading throughout the world. And he wanted us to proclaim, as we did beautifully in our second reading, Christ is the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. There is something horribly wrong in the world when the director of chaplains at a university is an atheist. What are people thinking? So we need this feast now more than when it was created in the 1920s. Uh, you have been praying for my brother Ed for since August. And yesterday, or the day before, yesterday, 1 o'clock in the morning, he, he's been d going, going down, down, down. And he had a heart attack um, two days ago. Uh, yesterday morning, he's in Maryland. Yesterday morning, my sister and I spoke to Ed 
which was a great blessing because he was responsive yesterday morning, but he's not now. Um, so he's in an ICU in um, Maryland. And I, of course, we are all uh, very worried about him. Uh, I had the solemn um, honor of bringing my father to see his firstborn son uh, in DC when we went to Kevin's wedding. So my dear friend, uh, Father, Bob Mon uh, Father Bob Cannon, Father Bob Monagle is gonna visit my brother if he's still with us on Thanksgiving Day. But uh, Father Cannon was with my brother this morning. Uh, and this is what he wrote me. <clears throat> I anointed Ed and I gave him the apostolic blessing. I asked Priscilla, his nurse, to write this in his patient record. She asked if, if Father Bob knew me. Uh, she asked if Ed knew him. He was not conscious but did not seem in any discomfort. A beautiful day for Ed on the feast of Christ the King. My friends, that is the gift of perspective. <laughs>